Hey everybody, welcome to MLB Today. I am your host, Ronnie Mandel, with Mark Rodigero, Alan Wiley. And uh, let's talk about yesterday's day of baseball. First, we always have to mention the nine games in a row, the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, how do they keep doing this? I don't know, but they are hot right now. And honestly, it's great to see. It's truly phenomenal what they've been doing. Coming out of nowhere, no one expected anything Baltimore Orioles. Now all of a sudden, they're right smack dab in the middle of the wild card race. I'm just wondering, is this sustainable? Can they keep it up? I don't think they're going to be able to keep it up forever, but for now, they are doing really well. What about you? What do you think about that? that that's very true. You know, it's definitely impressive. Baltimore's young talent. You know, they called up Adley Rutschman. They got a lot of young prospects. And, you know, it's kind of refreshing to see because you see all these big market teams buying each other out. And the Baltimore Orioles have just kind of just come out of nowhere, like Mark said. I don't know if they can keep this up, but as, you know, we'll enjoy the ride while we can. And I think that, you know, eventually, maybe in the next couple of years, they can be serious contenders. Yeah, that's a good point. As right now, it looks like we've got some breaking news that the Toronto Blue Jays have acquired Joey Votto from the Reds, uh, specifically in order to have a player of Canadian heritage on their roster. I mean, there's a lot to break down here first. First, Joey Votto going to the Blue Jays means that Vlad Guerrero Jr. and him will be sharing some time. So that must upset uh, Canada's own. But Joey Votto uh, goes to Toronto, goes to a competitive team. What do you think? Out of nowhere. I think that this is this is just another sign that the Reds the Reds are done, man. The Reds have absolutely checked out. Joey Votto has been the face of their franchise for so long, and now that they trade him away, that that shows that they're they're just done. They're not even trying anymore. They're throwing in the towel here. It, it is truly sad to see a fan base as loyal as Cincinnati be treated like this. But honestly, I can't say I'm surprised. To quickly mention, they did beat the Yankees last night, four to three, in one of the wildest baseball games I have ever seen. One of the wildest endings. So, what do you think about Joey Votto going uh, across the border? Well, you know, I do feel bad for. Cincinnati fans. He's been the face of their franchise forever, really. And now the veteran slugger is going to a team that actually has a chance to compete. You know, Joey Votto obviously reaching near the end of his career, but he can still hit the baseball a little bit. And, uh, you know, Vladdy and him may have a little run in about how much time they each get, but, you know, I think it's just another chance of Toronto giving some veteran presence. It's, it's clear now, as if it wasn't before, that they're all in on this year and the next couple of years. They're not rebuilding, they want to win right now. That's a good point. So, Mark, uh, obviously uh, because of this, the Blue Jays are saying this is our window, this is now. But they they play in the toughest division maybe in baseball history. So what do you see the Blue Jays doing the rest of the season? Do you see them competing for that division title and for a World Series? Uh, I don't think they can quite get the division title. The Yankees are too good right now, but I could definitely see them doing somewhere. I can definitely see them going somewhere in October. Well, <laughs> one of the most interesting trades I've ever seen uh, – this is MLB Today uh, with Ronnie, your host. Until next time, checking out.